Hi, my name is Bente, I'm the Norris Witch and I finally have another Witch's Moon unboxing for you. I know this is a little bit strange because usually I upload these on Sundays as like secondary videos, but uploading schedule wise this wasn't possible in a different way. So this one for now is a Wednesday video. I hope you're not bothered by this, but I finally have another unboxing for you. This should be the February box, if I'm not mistaken. I think I skipped the January box or something. Um, so I'm very, very excited to finally be able to unbox another one for you. But I have two announcements for you before we hop in. First of all, I will be at the Copenhagen Witch Market on May 26th, that is a Sunday, and it will be a cute little market with both like tarot and rune readers, like diviners, as well as just a normal marketplace. I'm very excited about that. I will be there with my sacred sorcery products. Since it is in Copenhagen and I will have to go there by train, I will probably bring things that are not too heavy, so like oils, incense blends, powders, small candles, stuff like that. And I will definitely make sure to prepare some products that are not on the shop yet. So if you live in Denmark or somewhere else and you want to come by, maybe you live in Southern Sweden, then definitely come by. I'm so, so happy to be on my first witchy market ever because those don't usually take place around here. They are usually not a thing in like Denmark or in Germany or anywhere around me where I could attend. So I am insanely happy. I will be there. If you are there, come by and say hi. Hopefully I will be able to chat with you a little bit. I don't know how busy it will be. We will see. But uh, it's in the meatpacking district. So it's also very, very central in Copenhagen. So that's great. I can't wait. And another announcement, I will also be at the Witchfest Pagan Festival, the Pagan Camp, in August. I think it's August 16th to 19th. I'm extremely happy about that. I was asked to give a little talk, hold a little talk, I don't know how you say that. I was, <laughs> I was asked to do a little talk there about Norse paganism. So in case you are there, make sure to say hi. I will be there, I guess from Friday, like afternoon-ish, we will fly in on Friday and then I will be there the entire days, Saturday and Sunday. I'm excited about that. Make sure to come by, say hi. Yes, I'm excited. All right, let's hop into the unboxing. I'm so excited. It feels like ages since I have unboxed the last Witch's Moon box. So let's dive right in. Oh, this looks already very spring-esque. Oh, and I see something. I will, as always, ignore the contents list for now. Oh, this looks like a little Ostara box. So cute. A little oracle reading as always this is so cute symbols of spring flowers early blooming flowers such as cherry blossoms columbine crocus daffodils daisy forsythia uh -huh. hellebore honeysuckle lilac pansies primrose yes snowdrops it's funny because three of those are currently blooming cherry blossoms are starting to bloom right now in front of my window, snowdrops and and uh, crocus are already blooming. This is so cute. Look at this. I also love the, what is it called? Bleeding heart? I think it's a bleeding heart plant. This is so cute. And the bunny. This is so cute. Sigils of Ostara. Rebirth, growth, passion. Very cool. This is very sweet. This is very sweet. I personally don't celebrate Ostara, but I'm such a spring person. I'm so excited about a spring box. Ooh. Wow, that's pretty. This is very pretty. The peacock dress. 
Wow. 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 Okay. I see a lot of baggies. Let's start with this baggie. Are these little eggies? Oh. They are little eggies. Oh, with the sigils on them. This is cool. You know the sigils I just showed you? They are on these eggies. That's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. I love the little eggies. I love a good spring moment. Eggies? All right. I think there's just one. Wah. This is always the challenge. Get the bag out without dropping all of the worms left and right. All right. Wormies, wormies, wormies. I will quickly get rid of the box. I see something in plastic wrap and I hope that it is an oil or a spray because I love them. It looks like it is. Okay, this is an Ostara anointing oil. This is very cute. A little spring oil. I hope it is for something like new ideas and new projects and things like that because I love that kind of stuff. I have a similar oil actually that I'm dropping for my shop. So, okay. Oh, little hummingbird. Spring invocation ritual herbal blend. So cute with a little hummingbird. Protect and prosper candle blessing blend. All right, we have a blessing blend for the candle. And lastly, a Visions of Ostara Ritual Herbal Blend. That sounds like a, like a divinatory tea. My cat wants to help out, but you can't see her. Hi, you know. All right. Next up, there is a bath salt, Inspiratio Ritual Sacred Salt. An inspirational blend. That is really cool. I will definitely use that. Let me smell it, as always. You know me, I have to smell everything. Sadly, I don't have a bathtub, but I will just shower with it or something. That smells insane. Mmm, that is very citrusy. Something that I would really like for, like, inspiration things. Oh, amazing. Okay, incense. Always excited about that. I have no clue how to pronounce that. Kumpu. Kum, kumbu pogon ritual incense? I don't know how to pronounce this. If you know that, let me know because I don't know. But let me smell that too. Mmm. Oh, that does smell like spring. Oh, again, smells very citrusy. Oh, I have to. I didn't smell the oil. Shame. Mmm, this is very flowery. Oh, and a little bit, it smells a little bit like, like sunscreen. And I love that because I love the, <laughs> I love the smell of sunscreen. It's more of a summer thing for me, but still. Okay, as always, we have a hand rolled beeswax candle. This time it is a pretty green, perfect for spring. Smells also a little bit citrusy. All right, we will see later what that is anointed with. <gasps> I think we got an altar cloth, a green one. <gasps> okay, that's cute. Wait, I will show you. I have to unwrap it. Oh, it's a tree design. That's so pretty. And that's great because I don't have altar cloths. <laughs> I just don't own them. That is very cute. I will definitely use that. Very, very cute. Oh, I love this color coordination. <gasps> and I think we got a decor piece, but I will look at the other things first. We have a crystal. A crystal, which is very... It's not completely egg-shaped, but a little egg-shaped, which I think is cute. Oh, that's a very pretty clear quartz. 
Wow, that is so pretty. Very pretty clear quartz and a very cute spring green bag. I always, pro tip, I always re reuse these whenever I make spell bags. I'm a very big spell bag person, so I always always re reuse these because they're all, always colors that you don't usually get. Okay, I think the last thing is a big decor piece and I'm very excited about that. Okay, I think this is like a wall hanger situation or something? With bells? Is that all? Is it a wind chime? <gasps> okay. Okay. Okay, this is the bottom. <gasps> wow. Okay, wow. This is... You can't really see it because it's huge. This is the bottom piece. It has bells on it that sound very cute. We have this piece and we have this piece. <gasps> oh, gods. And it sounds heavenly. I will so hang that outside of my house. I already see that hanging outside of my house once we own a house. Oh, I'm excited about that. <gasps> eee, it's amazing. I'm so happy. Okay. Let me show you everything in detail. All right, now, first of all, the wind chime that I showed you, this one, it is in fact a wind chime, the triple call of spring iron wind chime with bells. That's really, really cool. And the triple call of spring is very sweet. Of course, we have all of the artworks that I showed you already. Okay, the eggies that I showed you, they are completely handmade and hand painted. That is very, very cute. The sigils were all specifically created for Ostara. We have on green, the sigil of growth on orange, the symbol of passion and on purple, the sigil of rebirth. And they come with an, with an affirmation. The growth one, I sacrifice my time and attention for growth. The passion one, for I am inspired and motivated to create. And the rebirth one, for new opportunities are available to me. I am born anew. This sounds great. I mean, I'm always here for inspiration and passion and new projects and new ideas and new things, especially because this year is my Saturn return. Okay, the altar cloth is specifically a tree of life spring altar cloth. This mossy green tree of life altar cloth was included to bring inspiration to your Ostara altar. It's 18 inches by 18 inches and it is very cute. I love the green. All right, the spell candle. These are always anointed already. So Seeds of Plentitude spell candle. We have hand rolled and anointed the spell candle with the purpose of promoting prosperity and blessings within your seasonal practice. In addition to casting out negativity, allow this candle to burn while you plan and prepare for the next step in your journey. This is a great idea and I will definitely use this one. Then we have the Ostara anointing oil. Created to provide feelings of new life, fresh perspective and balance, this plant instills energetic boosters onto the items anointed. Allow these energies to overwhelm your auric body. Release anxieties and fears about what can go wrong, leaving room for the hope of a bright and beautiful future. And this is made with tangerine, rose, lemongrass and jasmine oil. And there is rose, jasmine, blue cornflower, hibiscus and marigold herbs in it as well. Very cool. And I already said I was hoping that it is like a new inspiration, new hope thing. And it is just through that. Okay, the salt. Inspiratio Ritual Sacred Salt. Created to be used before ritual are Inspiratio Ritual Sacred Salt provides the energies of inspiration during this transi transitionary time. Relax and let go of preconceived thoughts and expectations. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. This is great. I wish I had a bathtub though. That would be amazing. Okay, this will be interesting. The incense sticks. Oh, it's lemongrass. 
As the smoke from this lemongrass ritual incense fills your space, allow the energies of clarity and resilience to surround you. This plant is a wonderful grounder and can place your mental state in a throne of serenity and ease. Yeah, that, that's also what it smells like, because it smells amazing. Okay, the herbal blends are the Visions of Ostara Ritual Blend. That was this one. The herbal blend to be placed upon the altar in an offering bowl or included within magical sachets, especially dream pillows made using rose cherry bark, birch bark and mugwort. Yes, love that. Then the Spring Invocations Herbal Blend, this one with the lovely hummingbird, to be placed upon the altar or carried with you during new experiences and ventures. And it's made with parsley, basil, thyme, peppermint, licorice and clove. Interesting blend. And then lastly, Protect and Prosper Candle Dressing Herbal Blend. To be used in dressing candles during this time or to be scattered upon the plate in which your candle burns with red clover, plantain, juniper berry, anise, cilantro, lobelia, and wild lettuce. Wild lettuce, that is interesting. Okay, yeah, and we have the clear quartz bubble. We have called the stunning and large clear quartz a bubble for its robust shape and size. As one of the most powerful intention setting stones, allow your clear quartz to accompany you on your journey of creation during the season of bloom. And yeah, this can very well be described as a bubble. <laughs> it's a very nice size. It's a perfect worry stone size. And I have small hands, so this is a little bit bigger, but still in my tiny hands it works very well. And it feels great. Mm, this one is good. I like this one. All right, let's see. We have the Inspiratio Bath Salt. Of course, underneath everything, we have the beautiful altar cloth, the three different herbal blends, the cutest friggin' hand-painted sigil eggs. These are so cute. A beautiful clear quartz bubble. <laughs> the spell candle, as always. The Ostara anointing oil. Incense sticks, very, very nice smelling incense sticks. We have a little oracle reading, artwork about sigils of Ostara, about symbols of spring, and another beautiful Ostara artwork. And hard to show, but here is the wind chime again with the different symbols. Very, very cute and it sounds also great. I can't wait to hang this in our new home. All right, this box gave me spring feelings, heavy spring feelings, especially because it was delivered now that all of the spring flowers are finally coming up in Germany. I'm extremely happy. I'm so ready for spring. I am so ready. All right. Tell me your favorite product from the box in the comments. And uh, meanwhile, I will shout out my patron members and my YouTube members. Thank you so much to Standing Fox, Jennifer, Ryan, Alex, Jess, Naomi, Shaw, Christiana, T Demon, Elizabeth, Sylvia, Weir, Festira, Katrina, V, Bella, Derek, Smiley, Robin, Kirsten, Shannon, Andrew, Tisha, Sarah, Aziza, Carrie, August, Hannah, Shelby, Helena, SJ, Mel, and Kate, Kade, Z, Kent, Brittany, Emerseline, Smolkata, Josh, Elinura, Knarr, Christine, Rixi, Business, Annalena, Svenna, Ashley, Tim, John, Phoenix, Jenny, Maggie, Misty, Amy, Bethany, Timothy, Coffee, or the Honorary Gossip Squirrel, and last but not least, Bjorn. And now the YouTube members, thank you so, so much to Katie, Miller, Peony Rain, Betsy, Sydney Midnight, and Mary Ann. Of course, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up and ring the bell down below so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Of course, feel free to check out my other socials, mainly Instagram and threads, and also my shop's Instagram for more of these kinds of announcements of where I will be. And uh, yeah, if you want to buy some ethically and sustainably sourced witchy wares, then also definitely check out my shop's website, sacredsorcery.com. 
And lastly, if you want to support me in another way, then feel free to check out my Patreon or my YouTube membership. It's both basically the same thing, just a different platform. All right, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.